Okay, hiya. Second uh, kit review of the evening. This one I picked up again on eBay. Um, oops, can not come back out here? Sorry, it's quite a big box. Um, luckily, the guy lived locally, so I was able to pick it up and send some postage. So I think I got this for about £13. So not, not too bad. Um, obviously, like a lot of these, uh, it's an older monogram kit. I, know, uh, I think it's boxed by Revel as well. Um, so the panel lines are going to be raised, um, but I think uh, this kit's quite a difficult model to uh, this particular EA6B Prowler. Um, I think you can only get it possibly by one other manufacturer. I think recently, maybe Kinetic has recently released it. So, um, and I would imagine it's be a 40, 40 odd, fifty pound kit. So, the thirteen quid, I think, it's too bad. Um, It's a skill level two, um, which is kind of medium, I guess, for, for in there uh, for a monogram. Um, bit of information on the side here. Um, doesn't actually seem to be a kit. I guess that was probably the kit number eight five five six one nine. Box art, not bad. Perhaps not as exciting as some, but you know, not bad at all. Uh, this is quite a big box, so I apologise, hopefully we should be able to keep it all in shot. Uh, reasonably well packaged, it's a nice, you know, compared to obviously the modern Revel boxes, these um, older monogram or, uh, kits you know, are nice steady boxes, which is good. So we'll start, let's put that out of the way, we'll start the instructions. Uh, old style monogram instructions if you've seen them before um, you get a bit of information here um, I think this is possibly probably monogram you know, all American so you pretty much you know, the, the only information on the aircraft is in English um, color call outs really is just uh, in, there's no particular brand Let me sort of zoom in a bit. it's not in any particular brand you've just got colors uh, with federal standard numbers, so quite handy. You can pretty much match it to your own uh, particular brand of paint. Um, again, uh, as with all kits, pretty much standard on aircraft. It's going to start with the cockpit. Um, you've got a reasonable amount of detail here, which is always nice. It actually tells you the colours. So we've got here the front bulkhead, rear bulkhead, dark, dark dull grey, interior dark grey, dark gold grey with flat back co flat black consoles silver switches um, paint cushions olive drab blah blah buckles and stuff like that um, so you've got a nice lot of detail which is good to see um, seat seats pilot seats interesting this like the, the bottom part of the seats is already uh, in the actual main cockpit tub again you've got quite a lot of detail here uh, you've got pilot figures, it looks like you've actually got four pilot figures. Um, it looks like you've got two types uh, of figures there maybe. Again, you've got detail on the colourings here, which is always nice. Uh, pretty simple cockpit, goes together, straighten the tub, stick the fuselage halves together. It's not going to be a complicated build, but it's things this one. Um, this is the uh, nose gear detail by the looks of things. Um, the actual refueling probe is already part of the two fuselages. You have to be very careful that you don't knock that off in the process of building the kit up. Uh, air intakes, air scoops, wings, stabilizers, uh, nose gear, main landing gear, don't know if you can have this with retracted gear. Again, this looks like this is kit with you know, gear up, uh, gear down only. Uh, I might be wrong, but it doesn't actually seem to indicate that that's an option. Um, glass canopy going on. Um, a few little bits and bobs, various um, antennas and beacons and lights and stuff going on here um, and then we come out to the um, ordnance 
there doesn't actually seem to be a lot of options here. Uh, you've got an ECM pod, um, fuel tanks, uh, and that's pretty much it actually. Um, and then single colour scheme, which is a bit of a shame. You've only got the one colour scheme option. I'm sure there are decal options you can buy aftermarket out there. Um, standard flat dull, dark dull grey, gloss light dull grey, uh, tan, which I think is the nose in this case, and gloss white underneath. So it's a fairly standard colour scheme for the, that age of uh, American aircraft. <coughs> the plastic parts. Okay, um, we've got at least two bags here of plastic parts. Um, we will start with the main fuselage on wings here and the clear parts. I'll come out a bit here because it's slightly bigger. Um, bags a bit battered and bashed about, but here we go. Uh, fairly standard dark grey. Um, as we, as I suspected, it's all recessed power lines. Um, could be rescribed if you wanted to. I think. Don't see a problem with that. There's a reasonable amount of detail here, though. There's a few recessed bits as well. Um, really, isn't a lot here to say about it. There doesn't seem to be any nasty sink marks or any real defects. The wings are quite reasonably detailed. Again, you've got a that's all recessed. There's some, some sorry, some recessed, but majority is still raised panel lines. Um, you've got some nice sort of hydraulics here for the uh, wheel wells. Um, obviously, this particular because has folding wings. That obviously with this kit is pretty basic, there isn't really an option to fold them up or down. Um, if you wanted to, the you could cut them I'd imagine. And you'd have to do some scratch building or there may be a resin aftermarket kit for it. Um, so it could be done. Single uh, piece horizontal stabilizers here. As I mentioned in the instructions, you've got the fuel probe um, already attached. So you'll have to be quite careful there. I can see that's the sort of thing that could easily, uh, actually, uh, if it was attached at one point, but in fact it looks like it's already broken off, um, which, yeah, I kind of anticipated it would it would happen anyway during the build process. I mean, you know, it's an old kit, um, but uh, there's no flash. Um, it's all fairly crisply moulded. Um, it's a nice... Um, plastic so that's good. Um, this second sprue is pretty much the same. Again you've got the other side of the fuselage here. Um, don't know how the trouble is I don't know how well you're going to see the detail in this light. Hopefully it's picked out some of the panel lines. The wings themselves are quite nice. Um, and I probably wouldn't go to the effort of rescribing all these tiny little lines personally um, I'm not particularly you know recess panel lines can be a, a, a raised panel lines can be okay it's just it depends how well the whole thing fits and how much filling you have to put in it but uh, that's not bad It's actually one of the men that's fallen off the sprue already. To be quite careful with these kits. Um, looks very similar to most pilots I've seen in these sort of kits. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good again for the age of the kit. You know, with careful painting. Sorry, it just doesn't want to focus tonight. Uh, there you go. Uh, they're not bad. Man, clean them up. 
paint them, if you're good at painting figures, I think you'll get a, a reasonable pilot figure there. And again, it's nice to have them. It's nice to have that option. Uh, you know, a lot of modern kits don't give you any pilots, so that's always good. Uh, we've got a bit, again, reasonable amount of detail on the wheel well here. Um, seat components don't look too bad, but they're actually quite detailed. Should make quite a nice cockpit, a nice seat up for the cockpit. Um, not sure what these parts make up, but again, there's quite a lot of detail in there. I think that's the, probably the wheel wells. So, to carefully take these out as they seem to be losing parts. Uh, again, we've got uh, two pilots here. Interestingly enough, um, the first one I showed you had his visor um, closed. These pilots here. Again, if we can get them in focus, I've got their visors up so you can actually see their faces. Uh, again, nice, quite a nice little pilot figure actually. Um, but we've pretty much got three pilots exactly the same um, with their visors open and the one with the visor closed. The cockpit itself looks okay. You've got some raised detail on the sides here, so with some careful painting should look pretty good. There is actually belts on the seats so potentially if you were going to use the pilots you'd want to remove them. Um, again we've got a little bit of flash but nothing that can't be cleaned up. Uh, looks like the arrestor hook here, wheels quite reasonably detailed. You can see those. Um, the actual gears themselves are quite good again well you can catch that but there's some nice detail in there uh, it's gonna be well, there isn't really any flash on that I mean there's a lot of flash here actually on the sprues themselves but the actual parts are pretty good that one's actually got the most um, flash I've seen on any of the parts so far uh, we've then got uh, oh, we've actually got some quite nice detail in the instrument panel there. If you can see that quite well. Again, with some really careful painting. I think that's going to come out really nicely. Again, you've got some detail in these parts here. I'm not sure what they are, but piping and stuff is pretty good. Uh, the fuel tanks are quite standard. It's all raised panel lines. Again, there's no real... <coughs> Again, there's flash, but it's generally that's got a bit on the past, but again, it's nothing too, you know, nothing that can't be cleaned up, to be honest. And I'm just going to pop these back in here, particularly before I lose the man. If I do decide to use the pilots in this one, it would be nice to have all of them. Come over there for a moment. And hopefully, last of all, we've got some clear parts here. We actually seem to have two bags of clear parts or sheet of decals. Now, I don't know if these are the same. Very large clear parts. They're actually pretty clear. Um, there's a few scuff marks in the bag. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's not much distortion. They're quite clear. Um, obviously, you know they're going to show a lot of cockpit, so you really want to try and bring that cockpit alive because um, you'll get to see a lot of it with through these there's three parts there and a few little bits there. Um, no flash on these. I mean, they're not perfect. And again, by today's standard, they're not brilliant, but. Yeah, you can actually see there are, there's more distortion than you first realise. Um, but they're not bad. Um, not sure where we've got two. Ah, well, that's just as well we have got two because one of them is in fact snapped in half. Uh, completely broken, useless. Um, they're actually exactly the same parts as far as I can tell. The same part numbers. Uh, you see, I don't know if you can see that these bits are identical, and these two bits are all identical. So actually, 
the good thing is you could have, uh, if I'd had a, yeah, you can choose the better ones to use. Unfortunately, obviously one of them is broken, so that's of no real value. Uh, but at least you've got some spares there, which is, which is handy. I'm not quite sure whether somebody noticed it was broken, so they put a second lot in. Um, or whether for some reason they just accidentally put two lots in. Whatever, it's a bonus because with one broken, I'm going to need them. Put those carefully out of the way there. And I'll get rid of these. And then last off here, we've got the decals. Now... Uh, it actually says Revel ink on the decal sheet, which is good, a good sign because Revel decals are generally pretty good. Don't normally have much problems with them. These are uh, quite glossy. There's very little carrier film actually, which is really impressive. Uh, almost no carrier. Well, in fact, there isn't I think any carrier film at all around these stars and bars or these um, for the tail. Really quite impressive actually the decals there. Uh, they're all in beautiful register, they're all nice colours. Um, you can read all the writing which is nice. Um, you can probably see that there, you can read all the writing which is good. Um, very impressive decal sheet. As I say the carrier film is almost non-existent which is always a good, a good thing. Um, I think they're going to really nice decals. Obviously, the proof will be when we come to use them, but uh, they look pretty good. Cool. Well, I think you know this is a fairly simple kit. Um, should build again. It's quite a big model. Um, it's probably I don't know the length. That's probably a good 18 inches or so in the length of the body there. So it's going to build a quite impressive kit. Um, but I th you know even though it's recess panelised, I think with some care, you know it should still build into. Uh, a nice kit. Cool. Well, thanks for watching. Cheers.